brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Intel have recently made an interesting announcement where they have recently said that they are going to be changing their names of their Intel Pentium and their Intel Celeron brandings of those CPUs next year in 2023. So if you're like me and are running an Intel a processor and CPU, I thought you might find this recent announcement interesting. Now, this announcement is dated the 16th of September, which was just under a month ago. And they say, yeah, what's new? They are introducing a new processor for the essential product space, which they're going to be calling Intel Processor. And the new offering will replace the Intel Pentium and Intel Celeron branding in the 2023 notebook product stack. So although um, this change for that CPU branding, that name change is taking place next year, they don't give us an exact date, but I would say that obviously as they roll out those new notebooks and release those new notebooks, we would see that name change to the CPU brandings of those two um, Intel Pentium and Intel Celeron CPUs. Now, just to give you a quick recap and a brief history in case you're unaware, the Intel Pentium processors and CPUs were introduced in the early 1990s. And the Intel Celeron CPUs and processors were rolled out and introduced in the late 1990s. So these are both products of the 1990s and are basically, basically entry-level CPUs. So they are um, installed on low-budget machines and devices. Now, they give their reason for this name change. And it says uh, the new Intel processor branding will simplify our offerings so users can focus on choosing the right processor for their needs. So that's their reason for this name change and why it matters. Uh, with this new streamlined brand architecture, Intel will continue to sharpen its focus on its flagship brands, namely Intel Core, so that would be your R3, R5, R7, R9 models, Intel Evo and Intel, Intel V Pro. Now, um, about the Intel processor, they give us a little bit more info here. Intel processor will serve as the brand name for multiple processor families, helping to simplify the product purchase experience for consumers. Intel will continue to deliver the same products and benefits within segments. The brand leaves unchanged Intel's current product offerings and Intel's product roadmap. So nonetheless, just thought this was interesting. Um, as mentioned, if you're like me and are running and using an Intel CPU processor. Now, just on a side note, um, if you'd like to check what um, processor you are running and using on your device, it's quite simple on Windows. And on Windows, just go to your start menu, right click, click on device manager. And then, yeah, just expand processors. And yeah, you will see the processor that is installed on your device. And in my case, it's an 11th gen Intel Core R5 processor from Intel. So that's just an easy way to check if you are interested, just to double check what type of CPU and processor you are running on your device. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.